Hey guys, Brian here from Liquid Concept. So today on our tips and tricks videos, we are going to go over our DIY dip kits. And so um, what we've got here is we've got a dip kit that pretty much you can do at your, at your home, at your shop, anything like that, pretty much get you started into the world of hydrographics. If you've watched any of our other videos, you've probably seen how amazing it is, how cool it is. And of course, now you can do it yourself at your home with all the materials that you need. So check it out, let's get started. So let's take a look at what we've got for the DIY dip kit. So whenever you get everything in, you're gonna have a tub just like this filled with tons of things that you're going to need for the DIY dip kit. So first thing it's going to be, it's going to be the Liquid Concepts activator. So we've got aerosol activator, pre-charged, ready to go for whenever you're ready to activate your film. So that's gonna be the first thing. Second thing is going to be, you're gonna get a Prevail uh, spray system. And so what this is going to be for is, you're gonna have um, some glass jars down here, and then you're also gonna have a pre-charged little spray can that you can use to actually spray something out. So let's say that you needed to change the color on something, or you wanted to spray even a clear coat, or even a primer, or anything like that. You can actually use these pre-charged systems like this to spray any of that out of this little kit that you're gonna get. And then, of course, the other thing that you're gonna get is going to be a handle, like this right here, that you can actually snap onto this spray system right here and then that way now you can use it as a handle like that and spray it a lot easier instead of trying to use it just by your finger alone and so i'll show you how this works here in just a little bit so going through here again you've got a white speed shape and then you also have a black speed shape and so biggest thing to remember on this is, is that these are actually ready to dip and so that's what we're going to do today is we're going to go ahead and dip couple of these so then that way you can kind of see what all you can get with this system and so uh, these are made out of ABS plastic so they are ready to go and so other than that you have your tub that you can use to use for the dipping itself and then of course anything else that you need you can definitely find it on our website and we'll be more than happy to get it out for you so Let's go ahead, let's get this thing filled with some water, and then we will um, go ahead and get the film ready and get going with that. But the other thing to remember is that is not in this is you also get film with the order. So of course, we're doing it here, but whenever you order it online, uh, you will get two meters of film of uh, half a meter each, so four patterns total. And so you're gonna get half a meter of a 50 centimeter wide film, and then that way you can have plenty of film to play around with and see how everything works, as well as dip just about anything that you can fit inside this area right here. All right, so now let's go ahead, let's cut our film, put it in the water, and get ready to start dipping. So we've got our speed shape right here, and of course, our area that we're gonna be dipping in is more than sufficient to dip all the way around into this. So this is exactly what we need for this speed shape right here. So we've got some of our film that we have gotten with the kit. Now, the one thing to remember is with the DIY dip kit is that um, you may have a film that looks like this right here where you have a little bit more dull side, a little bit more flatter uh, sheen on this side, a little bit more gloss on that. Does not matter. So definitely do not think that uh, a glossy side is up, a dull side is up, anything like that. Um, you always want to make sure that you test the film. And so what we're going to do is we're going to just put our fingers in the water just like that, run them around, and then we're going to grab the film on the actual printed edge and then let go. The side that sticks to your finger goes down onto the water. So in this case, this film sets just like this right here. So make sure that you dry your hands off if you have a rag or a towel or anything like that. Uh, make sure that you dry those off so then that way you're not touching any of the film with wet hands as well. So let's go ahead, let's set out how much material we're gonna need for the dip and so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take just some half inch tape. Now again, it could be any tape, doesn't really matter, but we're going to take this 
and we are going to mainly run all the way across right here and then with this right here we can run that across there and so what we're doing is that we're creating our own border all the way around now it's not a hundred percent necessary but this will help keep the film contained whenever we lay it down in the actual water right here so then that way it doesn't expand or move or anything like that and it stays exactly where we want it to be so of course from there we'll take and we will cut this off here we'll cut that off there so this can be extra for something a little bit smaller this we're going to save for another time and then of course now we'll cut off our edges right through here and now we are ready to dip. And so as we had said before, we know that this side goes up and then of course this side goes down on the water. So we're gonna take this right here and then we're going to lay it in here. So this is going to be a tiny bit larger than the tank itself. Not a big deal at all because the majority of everything that we need to dip is going to be inside the water. So that's exactly what we want. So with this right here, we're going to lay it down in the water and then we just wanna make sure that we lay it down corner to corner so that way we prevent any of the air being trapped inside the film itself. So now that we have that, we'll go ahead, we'll start, we'll start our timer. Again, if you have a phone, you can take the phone and start you a timer, whichever way it's going to work best. Um, just mainly you want to let the film sit on the water for one minute at 80 to 90 degrees. So that's another thing that you want to make sure of is that whenever you're filling this water up, you want to try to have somewhere around lukewarm water. And so by having that lukewarm water, you're going to be able to have a um, one minute at 80 to 90 degrees. Now, if it's a little bit colder, you'll extend that time out a little bit more, maybe 10, 20, 30 seconds. If it's a little bit warmer, that's not a problem as well. Let's go ahead and bump that time back down to maybe 50 seconds or 45 seconds. So um, you can see right here, the film is hydrating. We have uh, a little bit of time left. And so pretty much the film is hydrating still. And now that we have our timer's gone off, we're gonna take the liquid concepts activator, shake it up just a little bit. Make sure that everything looks good, which it does. And so now we're going to take this and then start spraying it in nice, smooth, even strokes all the way across the entire pattern. And you wanna make sure that you have a wet look all the way around it. So let's go ahead and start. Perfect. So as you can tell, you have a very nice gloss look around the entire part. And then what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put on some gloves. And we will hold this like this. Everything looks good, everything looks glassed out, which is exactly what we want. So now we're gonna take this and dip it at a 45 degree angle right down into the water. So we'll start back here. And we just wanna go nice and slow all the way down into the water. Beautiful. We'll move that around a little bit. Pull that back out. And there you have it. Fully dipped, ready to go. Beautiful, beautiful part. So now all we need to do is we have to rinse it. So uh, you can go get a garden hose, go to a sink, anything like that, and then take this and then start rinsing it off. Now again, do not use high pressure. You wanna use just a slow, steady shower. That's all you need. The other thing that you can do is, is you can let this sit for 10 minutes, 20 minutes. It's not gonna hurt anything. Uh, even if you wanted to let it sit for maybe five minutes, perfectly fine. But once you have this dipped, you can go ahead, start rinsing it. Once you rinse it, then always apply a clear coat over 
anything that you dip because you want to make sure that you protect that entire finish all the way around. So in this case, if we wanted to have a gloss finish, this is pretty much identical to what a gloss finish would look like on this part, which actually looks really cool. It looks very nice, uh, really good detail in the entire part itself. Um, but again, we can also go through and do a flat finish if we need to, but definitely make sure that you apply some type of gloss or flat clear over the top of it to help protect it from any scratching or abrasions or of course UV protection and things like that. So let's go ahead, let's get this rinsed off and show you guys the end result. All right, so now that we've got everything already dipped, now of course comes the cleanup part. So cleanup's gonna be pretty simple, pretty easy. All we're gonna do is, because we had our taped border all the way around, we're going to take this right here and grab it and then pull it out. And then of course this can go in the trash. Now, because this is such a small body of water, pretty much you just can dispose of this any way you want or if you absolutely feel like it's necessary you can actually save that and so what you can do is you can take a paper towel like this right here and then run over it like that and that will actually clean off the whole top of that water so then now you can actually go through and have a brand new uh, area to dip in and of course you're not wasting a bunch of water so strictly up to you on that that's more personal preference but hopefully that really will help you out in getting started on the DIY dip kits all right, so let's talk a little bit about the Prevail uh, sprayer system that we've got that comes with the kit itself. And so what we've got here is, is that we've got this right here, which we will open up and we'll show you what all comes with this. So pretty much the first thing that you're gonna see is this is going to be your charged compressed air that you use to actually spray whatever coating that you need out of the sprayer system. And then of course, below you have a cap, and then below that you have a glass bottle or glass jar. And so a couple of quick things to note on this, of course we have the strainer that's down here on the bottom, and then pretty much the way that this is gonna work is you're gonna fill this up with any type of paint that you need to paint your part with. And so you can fill that up, and then we're going to, of course, take that and then lock it on this right here. It just literally screws on, screws off. So very quick, very simple. And then now what we're gonna do here is we're going to take this cap right here and we're gonna take that off. And as you can see, we do have a nozzle up here. Now again, this is a little bit harder to push down. So we wanted to try to make it a little bit more simpler. So we did come uh, and actually give you this can gun sprayer rig. And so this right here will snap on to the top of this. So then that way, whenever you push this right here, it'll actually push that down and it's a little bit easier. So um, it snaps on just like this right here. And now whenever you spray, of course you wanna make sure that the spray is going straight out this area right here. And so now it makes it a lot easier to just be able to pull that trigger just like that. And then it'll spray out the coating that you need. So let's go ahead, let's put some white in this, go ahead and paint our speed shape and then show you guys how this works. So here we go. All right, so we've got everything ready to go. We've got our paint already in the jar here. And of course, we've used our cap to make sure that it's all capped until we are ready to start painting. And so now that we've got our shape here, we've got our gun right here, we've got the bottle that has the paint in it, now we're ready to start painting. And so we'll go ahead and we'll pull the cap off of it. We'll put this down into here. And then of course, all we need to do is, is just tighten that up to where that's got a nice little tight seal to it. And then we will turn it at about a 45 degree angle. So then that way, whenever we start to spray, it'll have a nice spray coming out. 
All right, so now we've got our parts sitting here on the table. So what we've done is we went through and we've put down new paper. So then that way we try to have a clean area. Make sure that you always spray in a well ventilated area. So then that way uh, you don't have any fumes or anything like that coming back up or getting into anything that possibly could be uh, flammable or anything like that because of course you don't want any type of combustion or spark or anything like that. Always make sure that, you're check, that you check with the paint that you're spraying to make sure on what type of ventilation or anything like that is needed for the area that you're spraying in. So um, we've got our part already ready to go. It's cleaned off. And then of course we have our paint. So we're gonna go ahead and do a couple of test sprays. Everything looks good with that, come out great. So now let's go ahead and start spraying. And so now we can start spraying it. We'll turn this around right here. And so now that we've got our first coat on there, let's go ahead and let it sit. We'll let it flash off. And then that way we can come back and add a second coat and possibly a third coat. So then that way everything will be completely covered in white whenever it's all said and done. Sprayed. Of course, we let it sit, we let it flash off, make sure everything is completely dry, follow the manufacturer's uh, guidelines on things like that. But once it's all ready to go, then of course we're ready to dip it if we feel like we need to. And then of course, as usual, uh, for this right here, we're going to go ahead, we're going to take that back off. We'll set that out like that. And then we can cap this if we need to, to save it for later. And then if we felt like we needed to, we could go ahead and snap that off as well. Put the cap back on this, and then now everything is ready for storage. And so the biggest thing is just always make sure that you clean this area right here. So then that way, whenever you go to spray it the next time, you have a clean straw all the way through. And of course, you have a clean tip at the very start of it. So that way everything is completely clean and you get a really good spray every single time. So hopefully this video has really helped you out. Um, if you have any questions about any of our DIY dip kits or anything like that, definitely let us know in the comment section below, or of course, give us a call. We'd always love to hear from you. If you haven't already, definitely hit the subscribe button. We'd love to have you subscribe to our weekly tips and tricks on anything after graphics related. I'm Brian from Liquid Concepts, and this is how we customize your world. We'll see you guys next time.